Welcome to Dr. Jester Rant, and I'm gonna rant about this disastrous thing. From Bounding into Comics, Report Marvel Studios wants us to stay true to the character in casting this Marvel actress Iman Velani. Well, let me just invoke the spirit of the control left, the spirit of the, the racism and the democrat into me by the power of racism. She is definitely not dark enough to play the character. She is gonna get cancelled. I'm telling you that. A new report claims that Marvel Studio and Disney wanted to stay true to the character when finding an actress to play Miss Marvel, Marvel for their upcoming Disney Plus series. Like the spirit I've channeled through from the control left. She is not dark enough to play the character. <coughs> went too much. The report came from Deadline Justin Crow. Let me drink some coffee because this is going to be hard. Mm, it's still hot. <clears throat> and I'm developing a ocean ass right now. The report came from Justin Crow, who, who also revealed that Marvel Studio cast newcomer Iman Villani to play Miss Marvel, aka Kamala Khan. Or uh, Kamala? In Disney Plus show. Before I go on, I'd like to make that point. They, they have a tendency of destroying the characters to try and diversify. In very rare situations, they do make a good job about it. And I can point to only one case that comes to my mind right now. And it was an okay job. It did okay. Fine. But this was the original Captain Marvel. And now, as you know, they actually love diversity and etc. They changed it. But, in this case, in this case, they actually did okay with it. And this was Miss Marvel, the, the continuation, the, the, the other character from uh, that came out from Captain Marvel. And this was it. Look at this, no identity politics. And, even more so, and later on they did this before the terrorist um, Captain Terrorist <laughs> did, uh, did this. this this is the, the newish version you can still see that they changed the hair quite a bit it's not the sexy bitch that he once was but still acceptable but this is not the actual first that Marvel has been doing welcome to a new Iron Man Yes, uh, black cared that it's supposed to be smarter than Tony Stark. <clears throat> what in the actual fuck is going on with these people? Look at this! An invisible, invincible Iron Man. In fact, I even go on a record and say that I actually did a couple of videos about this. In fact, the hair comic, her debut was atrocious. It was a massive piece of shit. I mocked that comic book endlessly, 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 endlessly. You, you can check the history of my channel. I laugh my butt off you know, in, in this goddamn fi fucking disaster of a comic. But here we go. Let's keep on reading the news on the Captain Terrorist and her abilities to steal the... The powers of the uh, Fantastic Four. Kroll decided the plan always wants to stay true to the character in finding the right actress to play the role, even if it meant offering a person that was not well known to the public. The report is interesting given that Marvel Studios and Disney have had no, have had no qualms in changing races and gender on many of their other characters. Exactly, because they are so fucking idiotic that they cannot comprehend the idea of creating their own... Mm, their own superheroes, their, their own characters, so they can virtual signal, they can show Oh look how progressive we are, we are casting a black woman who is a Muslim <laughs> We definitely don't have any other Christian character in the recent years that, that does the same thing 
See how progressive we are. That's exactly what you're doing. And uh, look at this. And instead of actually making her a unique character, they decided to also steal the power of uh, uh, Richard or Reed Richards, I believe that's his name. Uh, I suck at names, even uh, character names. But the the taller, but uh, what can we do? Berlin Comics previously reported that they changed the majority of the cast for the upcoming. Eternals film. The only characters that are similar to the comic book iterations are Richard Madden's Icarus, Angeli Jolie, Angelina Jolie's Tina, and Brian Tyree Henry's Fastos. They changed McCann into a deaf black female character portrayed by Lauren Ridloff. As you can see in the first appearances, uh, appearing in Eternals number 5, McCann is a white man who has no problems hearing. See? Diversity. They have absolutely no problems in reappropriating characters because they know, they know they are racists themselves. They know that uh, diversity doesn't sell. So they need to actually change a character or do hand-me-downs to other races and other diversity points thingies. So they can then virtual signal, oh look, 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 we are giving you a character. Uh, we are giving you Miss mm, Marvel to you. Look how progressive she is now. I'm gonna give the, her the powers of Reed Richards, so don't forget about that. And then we are gonna make her the Captain Marvel now, Miss Marvel. Aren't you happy? Look how progressive we are. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know we can't make a new character. It's not going to sell if we go and create a new diverse character. Because it's not going to sell. Mm. I, we can barely make those shitty stand me down sell. <sighs> Hot as fuck. Um, yum, 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 yum. Uh, Kingo wants to change from a character of Japanese descent into India, played by Kumail Nija Nijana. As you can see in his first appearance, dressed as a samurai. Congratulations! You changed the by. <laughs> Well, actually, that actually might be the first I actually see that they change from a minority to another minority. Even though, technically, the population worldwide makes the whites a minority, but mm, I digress. They also changed Ajak into a female of Hispanic and Lebanese origin played by Selma Hayek. In his first appearance, Ajak is revealed to, uh, to have lived among the Asian ancient Inca empire and is uh, even referred to as the Inca hero Tecomotzin. Oh, sorry, Tecomotzin. Tecumotzin, Tecumotzin, which is a fictional hero created by Jack Kirby. As you can see below, he is depicted as a white man with the same skin tone as Icarus. Ah, when comic books were good, Gilgamesh was also the changed to be an Asian character portrayed by Don Lee. In Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh's first appearance, he was referred to as the Forgotten One, who once roamed the world among humans and shook it to pr improve their, ro their lot. He also toppled the palaces of tyrants and slew beasts that could not conquer. He was also a white man with dark, almost black hair. Ah, the joys. Finally, they also changed Sprite into a young female, <laughs> portrayed by Leah McHugh. In Sprite's first appearance, the Eternals number 9, he is shown as a diminutive white man with reddish orange hair. Ah, the joys of the littering, the gingers. There's race and gender swaps, and the Eternals are not the only race and gender, uh, gender swaps that Marvel Studio has made. The company has, has changed Hemdal, the Ancient One, Murdo, Valkyrie, Hogan, Marvel, Ned Leeds, Flash Thompson, Liz Allen, uh, Batwoman. Uh, no, wait, that's Marvel. <laughs> um, 
And a bunch of a buttload of other characters too. You know it, you've seen the list that I've made about this. One has to wonder why they would want to find an actor that stays true to the character of Miss Marvel when they seem they seemingly don't feel the way with many of, of their other characters. Miss Marvel is being written by Bisha K. Ali. <laughs> Who has called for internet conscription of men? In a Facebook post, she asked, can, can we do internet conscription for men? You got them list, body up with one troll each, and teach them to keep their vile threats to themselves. Yes, of course, you need to understand that these people, any, any criticism to their opinions, their shitty opinions, any comment, anything that even remotely say is against the, what they perceive as reality is called extreme harassment or death threats. Do you understand that? That's why I always say don't go bother these people because they are way, way too fragile to understand that there is uh, differing opinions in the world. But let's keep going. In another in another she wrote, I believe a woman can burn shit to the ground and rebuild it to an anti-capitalist utopia of science at occupation. I think we are thriv striving for. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Why don't you just go live in a country that actually has that? I can think of a couple. Let's see, uh -huh, Venezuela, let's see, Cuba, maybe Angola. Actually, I think Angola would be nice at this time of year. Hmm. And there's also China, there's North Korea. Oh, North Korea would be great for you. Why don't you go live there? You can make a myriad of comics in North Korea. I mean, it's so progressive in there. It's communist, anti-capitalist to the end. And you can do whatever you want in there. It's a paradise for people like you, isn't it? Eh. As reported by Douglas Ernst, Ali also claimed that we live in a strange and dangerous times. We live in a strange and dangerous times, as you know, because there's a lot of people disagreeing about uh, of my opinion, and when people disagree about my opinion, it's a harassment. Mm -mm. Uh, she elaborated, the UK a leadership that cares a little for diversity and the most marginalized already across the pond, the systemic elevation of actual white supremacists and, with actual KKK credentials into positions of superpower. Who would that be? I wonder. The eight years of revolution from Brown and the is when this series will be directed by Adil Il Arribi, a Bilal of Falun, Sharon Nina, a Bedore, a Reginoi, a Muran, what do you okay the article ends there it's uh, it's a disgrace what is happening but uh, what can you do i'm not even going to bother to watch this piece of shit i actually avoided buying buying avengers not only because the game is absolutely expensive um it's a buggy fest it's also a piece of shit i also avoided it because you get to play the bootleg Mr. Reed Richards or the, one of them Fantastic Four without actually playing the Fantastic Four. And because I don't like playing a diversity character that was created just for diversity's sake. Not because, um, I don't know, because they, it was a fit for the character. Let's see. Couldn't they make Blade? No. No. Couldn't they've, uh, couldn't they've created, couldn't, couldn't have they created a character like Spawn? No, of course they wouldn't. And I loved the Spawn games when, it, uh, when I was a kid. I actually loved it playing on my SNES. Oh, I loved it. I, I'm still a fan of Spawn to, to the bone. I love that character. And guess what? He's black. And... Uh, why couldn't they have done like um, like in Arrowverse? For actually, the only instance in the Arrowverse that they actually did something right in regards to diversity in characters was the creation of Spartan. I'm a huge fan of the character and the actor who plays it. Why couldn't they have done that? Why is it so difficult? No, let's. Grab a character, pre existing character, let's gender and, and race swap and make it diverse. Ah, Jesus Christ. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you on my next video. Good night.